The people of the West Central Africa Division are pretty much like people everywhere. They enjoy good food, they like to shop, they like to play, they like to sing, and their smiles can warm your heart. Welcome to the West Central Africa Division. The West Central Africa Division covers a vast territory stretching from the island of Cape Verde to the Central African Republic and from Mauritania to the Republic of Congo. More than 350 million people live in the 22 countries that make up this division. Of these, some 850,000 are Seventh-day Adventist, one out of every 390 people. In 11 countries, Islam is the dominant religion. Minarets dominate the skyline from the many mosques throughout this region. Every day, devout Muslims visit the mosques to pray and study the Quran. Christians are a majority in 10 of the 22 countries. This territory is home to one of the largest Christian churches in the world, the Catholic Basilica in Yamasukuro, Côte d'Ivoire. In spite of having one of the largest churches, Christianity is a minority religion in more than half of the countries of this division. For many people, local and tribal religions are still very much a part of their lives. In the country of Togo, more than half of the population practices local religions, and in Benin, it's nearly a third of the population. People worship at temples dedicated to spirits and animals such as snakes. This region is home to the voodoo religion that was carried to the West Indies. As recently as 1996, voodoo was made an official religion of Benin. Along the shores, traditional fishing boats ply the waters in search of fish, and you can still see the sobering memorials to the slave trade that once plagued these shores. This building in Senegal is known as the Door of No Return, once a departure point for the slaves heading for Europe and the New World. Other memorials stand as mute reminders of the horrors of war and struggles for power that tore at this region in the not-too-distant past. For those interested in history, this territory includes the city of Timbuktu, once part of the Trans-Saharan caravan route that stretched from Constantinople, now known as Istanbul, to Timbuktu, linking the Middle East and North Africa. The Adventist Church has grown rapidly in countries such as Ghana and Nigeria. Some areas have proven more challenging. Gary Kraus, director of Adventist Mission, spoke with Zachary Kasuli when he was global mission director of the Sahel Union, one of the most challenging territories in the division. Today, Pastor Kasuli is the Adventist Mission coordinator in the West Central Africa Division. What countries are in the Sahel? Uh, we have uh, 11 countries, and uh, most of them have many culture, many challenges. Do you want me to sit the countries? Or? Well, we won't go through all, all of them, but we have countries like Mauritania, yes, Burkina and Faso, Mali, Mali Timbuktu Niger. is in the middle of Sahel. Yes, 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 yes. And a lot of this region is desert. It's yes. a very poor area. Very, very poor. And we really only have a handful of believers. How many believers in all of these 11 countries? Uh, about uh, 40,000. Okay, 40,000 40, among mm. millions and millions among of millions, people. Millions and uh, people. What are the major challenges that we are facing as a church? Oh, the main is uh, lack of resources. Yes. And uh, yeah. if you consider yeah. 11 countries, we have uh, different mentality, yes. different uh, opinion, different way to enter in the country. So it's not uh, easy. No. For each country, you have to develop uh, own strategy to yes. enter the country. So this is the big challenge we have. Some 20 years ago, Pastor Kasuli became the first Seventh-day Adventist in his home country of Niger. Although he was not a Christian, he became interested in Christianity and joined another Christian denomination. He learned of the Adventist message when a friend introduced him to Adventist World Radio.
Later, he met an Adventist who was working in Niger and became an Adventist. He went on to attend an Adventist university and became a pastor. Like many areas of the world, the Adventist Church in Western Africa operates schools that provide a quality education while teaching Christian values. Here in West Central Africa, the church operates more than a thousand primary schools and some 60 secondary schools. These schools play an important role in training future workers for the church. The quality education they offer also attracts many students from non-Adventist homes. As students study in class or socialize on campus, they have an opportunity to learn about Jesus' soon coming and the Seventh-day Adventist Church. There are also three Adventist universities in this division. One of these, Babcock University in Nigeria, is one of the largest Adventist universities in the world, with an enrollment of more than 5,000 students. Graduates from these schools carry their hopes and dreams with them as they leave these schools to work in countries throughout the division, across the continent, and around the world. Health and medical care are another way the Seventh-day Adventist Church touches lives in West Central Africa. In the extreme north of Cameroon, you can still find family compounds made up of distinctive round huts. Each hut is like a room, and new huts are added as the family grows. Although there are cities in the north, this region is one of the most culturally diverse areas of the country, with many people living in traditional homes and maintaining traditional lifestyles. Hospitals are few and far between. It's in this setting that the Seventh-day Adventist Church operates Koza Adventist Hospital. The hospital was established in 1949 by R. Bergström and his wife, Adventist missionaries from Sweden. Originally called North Cameroon Mission Hospital, today this 140-bed hospital still serves a large area with medical care. So you know we have 200,000 people who live in this place. And we have some person who come from Nigeria, from Chad, and sometimes we don't have one big hospital like this hospital that we have here. And we bless God because we have two doctors and we receive many patients and we have the opportunity to help the community. From West Central Africa's crowded cities to remote villages, people are searching for answers. Answers they can find in the Bible. Answers they can find in Jesus. Thank you for supporting the mission offerings that helps make it possible for global mission pioneers, local workers, and missionaries carry a message of hope to the West Central African Division.